The Quran all but declares the sky to be a solid ceiling, when we know today it is thin air. This alone is enough to prove it is not the word of God, since God wouldn't make such a simple mistake. The following verses reveal this. Number 1. Are the disbelievers unaware that the heavens and the earth were but one solid mass which we tore asunder? This clearly shows Muhammad believed the sky is a solid layer made of the earth's former surface. 2. We spread the heaven like a canopy and provided it with strong support. This indicates the sky is like a tent over the earth. 3. He holds the sky from falling down upon the earth. 4. He raised the heavens with no visible pillars. The atmosphere does not need pillars, invisible or otherwise. 5. Is theirs the sovereignty over the heavens and the earth and all that lies between them? Then let them climb up to the sky by ropes. God it is who made the earth a dwelling place for you and the sky a ceiling. Have they never observed the sky above them, how we built it up and furnished it with ornaments, leaving no crack in its expanse? This indicates Muhammad believed the sky was solid, since there can't be a crack in gases. The heaven we built with mighty hands, giving it a vast expanse, and stretched the earth beneath it. And if they saw a piece of heaven falling down, they would still say, it is but a pile of clouds. Thin air cannot fall down, only heavier than air, solid materials. He is the Almighty, the Forgiving One, who created seven heavens, one above the other, you will not see a flaw in the merciful's creation. Turn up your eyes. Can you detect a single crack? Do they never reflect on the camels, how they were created, on the heaven, how it was raised on high? To conclude, the Quran, in no less than 11 verses, so heavily implies the sky is solid that we can safely accept Muhammad and his followers erroneously believed the sky was a physical ceiling. Even if one or two of these verses have been misinterpreted, it is clear the Quran is not the perfect word of Allah, the omniscient creator of the universe. Therefore, Muslims should renounce the perfect truth of the Quran.